If you think your computer has been hijacked and everything you're doing is being watched or tracked, let's look at how to verify whether that's actually the case and what to do to stop it. One of the best methods is also a preventative measure. Simply install an anti-spyware program. They detect spyware, but also usually everything from open network ports to webcam monitoring. And they not only detect these things, but also actively block them. Here are some good options. Spyware Blaster, a vast free antivirus, Malwarebytes, Super Anti-Spyware, and Spybot. You'll be alerted each time the program finds a breach, and you can usually either enable a block to prevent it from happening again, or you'll be told the program has already blocked it for you. The next best way to see if someone is monitoring your computer is to view all of the active connections your computer is making with something on the internet. TCP view is a great way to do this in Windows. It's pretty straightforward in that you see which process on your computer is connected to a specific remote address. Since there might be a lot of entries here, it's best to shut down your web browser and cease as much internet activity as you can. Then sort the list by remote port to find anything out of place. If TCP view shows that your computer is being monitored remotely, right click the process to end the connection and then do some research to learn how it got on your computer so you will know how to stop it in future. Your computer connects to the internet via network ports. Common ones include port 80, 21, and 443. But depending on what you've installed in your computer and whether you have port forwarding rules set up, there could be a lot more ports open than this. The problem with having lots of ports open, or specific ones that you aren't using, is that someone could take advantage of them to communicate with your computer remotely to send or receive files like viruses, passwords, images, and more. Use a port checker to scan the ports on your network. You can close ports by logging into your router or blocking them with a firewall program. A common way a computer starts being monitored remotely is through malware. Maybe you installed a program that you fully intended on using or that you do actively use, or maybe the program was installed as bundleware and you don't even know about it. Regardless, you should do a check of the programs that are currently installed. If there are apps you don't recognize or programs that you don't even use anymore, promptly remove them. One great way to do this is with a program called iobit uninstaller. If you want more detailed information about checking your computer for unwanted spies, check out the article linked in the description below. See you next time.